Well, two Australian radio hosts are off the air until further notice after a tragic turn of events involving that prank call they made to a UK hospital. Well, the disc jockeys telephoned the ward where the Duchess of Cambridge was staying at the time. They pretended to be Queen Elizabeth and Prince Charles. A nurse who fell for the hoax apparently killed herself on Friday. A tragedy just yards from where she worked. Jacinta Saldana was found dead at an address close to the Edward VII Hospital, where she had been a nurse for four years. Police say her death is unexplained and haven't commented on local media reports that she committed suicide. Earlier this week, Saldana had fallen for a prank call by Australian radio DJs ringing for news about the health of Prince William's wife, Kate. Prank calls as a, as a craft in, in radio have been going for, for decades and decades. They're not just part of one radio station or one network there or one country. They're done worldwide. Um, and, you know, um, um, no one could reasonably have foreseen uh, what ended up being an incredibly tragic and a very sad day for us. News of the prank was reported widely in the media, but it's understood she had not been suspended or disciplined by the hospital. The hospital had been supporting her through this very difficult time. Jacintha was a first-class nurse who cared diligently for hundreds of patients during her time with us. Everyone is shocked by the loss of a much-loved and valued colleague. The royal couple said they were looked after wonderfully well at the King Edward VII Hospital and are deeply saddened by the news. The radio DJs from Sydney's Two Day FM have said they'll stay off the air until further notice, out of respect. In a statement from St James's Palace, a spokesman said the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were deeply saddened to learn of the death of Jacintha Saldana. The statement went on, their Royal Highnesses were looked after so wonderfully well at all times by everybody at King Edward VII Hospital, and their thoughts and prayers are with Jacintha Saldana's family, friends and colleagues at this very sad time. The prank call was made by two Australian radio presenters called Mel Gregg and Michael Christian. They work for a Sydney radio station called Today FM. The station has now offered its deepest sympathies. The two presenters will not be returning to the station until further notice. Nurse Saldana was one of the staff on night duty at the King Edward VII Hospital last Monday night. The Duchess of Cambridge had been admitted a few hours earlier. At 5.30 on Tuesday morning, the prank call came through. She answered it and was taken in by the caller's impersonation of the Queen. She put the call through to a second nurse who was monitoring the Duchess. According to the hospital, Nurse Saldana had not been disciplined or suspended as a result of what happened. Jacintha Saldana was married with two children. In Australia, the DJs who made the call had no comment, but were said to be deeply shocked. Their Facebook page filled with angry messages from the public. Their employer said they will not return to their radio show until further notice, out of respect for what can only be described as a tragedy. And the radio station behind the prank call, Today FM, has offered its condolences, saying the two presenters involved are deeply shocked. The media group released a statement early this morning, saying Southern Cross Oz Stereo and Today FM are deeply saddened by the tragic news of the death of Nurse Jacintha Saldana. And we extend our sympathies to her family and all that have been affected by this situation around the world. It goes on to say that the presenters have decided that they will not return to their radio show until further notice, out of respect for what can only be described as a tragedy. Hello, good morning. Can you have a yeah, could I please speak to Kate, please, my granddaughter? Oh, yes, just hold on. Um... Thank you. The hospital says the nurse may have felt responsible for transferring the call to the Duchess room and committed suicide. It's a pretty stupid prank uh, that went disastrously wrong, obviously. 
I don't think they meant any harm, but they should have probably thought about the, the consequence. The radio station has expressed condolences to the nurse's family and says it has removed the DJs from their radio show until further notice. Outside the radio station, Australians spoke of their shock. It's all very funny for the people listening, but at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's going to be sad for a family, isn't it? They should be sad. They shouldn't have that opportunity to go back and say what they think because what has happened is this is so horrible. Obviously she's had some sort of personal issues. I don't think they can be held responsible for doing their job. Advertisers like big supermarket chain Coles have been pulling their sponsorship. The Australian Communications and Media Authority has also said it wants to speak to station management. Commercial radio here in Australia constantly pushes the boundaries of taste and decency in the battle for ratings. Today FM has been wrapped over the knuckles a number of times by the media watchdog here, but no previous stunt they've pulled has ever had such tragic consequences. 